We've just done an interview for the film, but we've spotted Oliver Letwin round the corner, the mastermind of the privatisation. Let's see whether he'll answer any of our questions. Mr Let Letwin, can we have a quick word with you about the uh, privatisation of the NHS? No, thank you. Is, is it all going to plan with the, uh, the Naylor review and the land grab? We've got Project Phoenix now, haven't we, with the land grab and... Uh, I don't want to have an interview, thank you very much. The sort of banks are uh, rubbing their hands together, aren't they? How about Anim Rothschild? Are they, um, are they going to benefit from the privatisation? Have you got no comment, Mr Letwin? None whatsoever to your organisation, no, thank you. Do you know uh, there were 30,000 excess deaths in 2015 because of the cuts? Anybody going to take any responsibility for that? Mr Letwin. There's a lot of people that are putting their lives on the line for the NHS, Mr Letwin. Is it really worth all the money? All the death and destruction that we're seeing? Given you're the mastermind of the privatisation, I thought you'd have more to say. Mr. Letwin. The privatising the world seems to be coming true with the outsourcing and contracting out of services. Well, that was, um, that was a bit of an opportunity missed for Mr. Letwin to explain his role in the privatisation of the NHS the smashing of our welfare state and the handing over of assets, public assets, to bankers and financiers, which seems to be gathering pace. Very disappointed he couldn't defend any of the policies he's been championing for the last 30 years from the Thatcher government through John Major and policies also followed by the new Labour Blair Brown administration. Very disappointing. It doesn't seem that we have much accountability in this country if politicians can just run away and not face difficult questions.